Allow record. Okay. And you're recording. Let's get it. It's Throwback Thursday time with April and Mercedes. Welcome to Throwback Thursday time, where we not only spill the tea, we make tea memories. Put them in a box and sell them as gifts. And then we get drunk and you get to hear all about it. We are filling the universe's cup. That's right. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> We're going to get better. <laughs> oh my God. Shandy! I can hear you. Can you hear me? We can. Come on. What's up, guys? Oh, oh good. Thanks. I actually had something to do today. So. <laughs> Yay, thanks for having me. Well, we should cheers. Do you have a drink with you by any chance? Yes. <laughs> We'd love to um, jump right into your throwback photo that you so nicely sent to us. And so here is Shandy's throwback photo from the 2000s that she chose. <laughs> <laughs> and walk us through this moment in time for you please so the most that i remember from that is actually doing the red carpet so we're doing the red carpet and then i think we were one of the first people to go because we're we weren't as famous as everybody else mm -hmm. but i decided not to leave the red carpet i just kind of like walked back and just stood there and just watched because I was so in awe of all the celebrities that were coming by. And I was just like, this is unreal. Like, this isn't really happening. This is insane. I love the photo because you have that like Avril Lavigne doppelganger, like tongue out, yep. totally where like. My, where are my green converse? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that shit is still is. The thing too is though, that was also very nervous because of just the enormity of all the celebs that were around and mm. i'd never really been a part of something like that like there was like fans screaming my name and i'm like what is this like this is not happening so i was extremely uncomfortable so i think i dressed that way because i wanted to just be as comfortable in my dress Mm -hmm. because I was already so overly self-conscious and nervous about the whole thing. Now, you had some controversy on the show. Do mm -hmm. you have any regrets about anything that happened? I wish I would have drank so much. <laughs> That's the only kind of regret that I, I have, but it's not really regret. It's more of just, um, you know, a, realization of kind of what we were all going through at that time i was starting to feel really really pretty and confident in a weird sort of way yeah so when they did introduce boys that were like really good looking i was like oh we were so starved for male attention that i feel like once we got to milan we were just bursting <laughs> yeah oh yeah. completely yeah completely well plus we you know we we were spending so much time together all day every day Put me on the back of a Vespa with a hot model dude. I thoroughly I can actually it. talk to. You can actually <laughs> talk to them, which was crazy. Exactly. We talked the whole time on the back of that bike. I was like, this is like being on a date. This is great. <laughs> we have to ask about, uh, you know, what happened with you and Eric after the show. Uh, okay, so we, <clears throat> he moved to New York with me and we slowly just kind of started to drift apart but we're still friends even after all this time he's still my best friend it's good to have someone in your life that kind of knows you during that time period and, and what you've both went through and you know that's something that we share and we'll always share that but he's married now he lives in berlin oh my god oh people good to know what's going on with him yeah <laughs> mercedes and i love games <laughs> We're kind of addicted to them. Oh. I'll do my best. Okay. You, what were your thoughts? Did you have a house of style that you feel like spoke to you? What's your quarantine house of style? I'm going to be honest. The um, There was a little bit in every single one. <laughs> These are amazing. <laughs> one did I, did I, which one did I choose? I chose to let, your, let yourself go home. 
Mm. Oh, or like house. That. Sorry, house. Okay. Let go. yourself go, ho. I like but that there. better. <laughs> so, so the talk show is Jerry Springer. You're binge watching Flavor of Love, and then you're listening to Toxic by Britney Spears, and you are eating drive-through Taco Bell, which I told I you. I think that's what got, that's what sold me <laughs> yeah. on that one. I'm 170 pounds, you guys, right now, which is not my ideal weight. I mean, personally. Well, you can't, maintain you can't a healthy... count the quarantine 15. <laughs> <laughs> you can't count that. And I have more booty now, just so y'all know. Oh, yes. Let's see it. <laughs> Should we all do it? I don't know. Hold on. Oh, thighs is a butt, butt, baby lurk a butt, butt, butt. Let me see it again. <laughs> nice. You do got booty, girl. That is a good ass. <laughs> I got a good butt. She's like, I know. This is getting salacious. <laughs> I know, right? Where are we going? Where are we going with this? What's in your coffee, Shandy? Because obviously we're all brought together from Top Model. I would love to just hear like one favorite memory that you have from filming or one thing you wish you could tell like the the fans about the show that you think maybe they didn't know about you or something. Well, the one thing that comes to mind and it's kind of an odd memory, but it just reiterated to me just how empathetic people can be was after the phone call, the famous phone call with Eric and I was uncontrollably crying. One of the sound guys, like the main sound guy picked me up in his arms and carried me to bed. Mm. He broke that wall because he was, he was, you know, him and two, another guy had to film the whole phone call right. and they felt really bad. And so he took me up, he tucked me in bed and he, we, he had this really lovely conversation with me about like how he'd been through it before and everything's going to be okay. And it just like, it kind of, every time I think about it, it kind of makes me want to cry. Cause it's just like, he doesn't know me. He doesn't, he doesn't really know me as a person, but he's seeing that somebody is going through something so devastating that he, he wants to just, you know, it's going to be okay. And, and I will, I will always remember that because it, I wasn't expecting it. And I feel like a lot of the girls on the show and like even Janice, like everybody was so kind to one another because people ask me that all the time. They go, did you guys like, who was, who was the, the shitty person? And who was like, who was the mean one? And who didn't you get along with? And when I say, I got along with everybody. They think I'm lying. <laughs> it's like, I'm not. We, we all genuinely liked one another and liked each other's company and got along really well. Yeah, it's, it's surprising because always when you're in a competition, um, it's uh, natural and engraved in our society that we're always supposed to go against each other, especially women. I don't understand why society always pits women against women. You know, it's not necessarily... Uh, a competition we can all collaborate and and still do our unique self but also uh, share peace with the world without putting anyone else down so I'm glad to hear that you know you had the same experience what a great memory Shandy I'm so glad I asked you that question yeah. um is there any um place where fans can follow you if you want to know what's going on in my day-to-day -day life just go to my Instagram which is Shanthrax to the max which, yes, I, I kept that name from the show. <laughs> Anthrax and then just TTM at the end. Like, don't spell out the whole to the max part. Well, thanks for watching TT Time, where we get to spill the tea. So, so good to see you both and talk to you. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> okay. <laughs>